Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. If your stove element stays on high, glowing red hot, even at a low heat setting, then it's likely a faulty switch or shorted element. In this episode, first we'll learn how it all works, then we'll do some tests with a multimeter. Finally, we'll learn how to replace the heat switch in a ceramic or conventional stove. Let's get started. The electric stoves are pretty simple at a base level. When electricity passes through the heating element, the resistance in the material generates heat. Each burner is on a separate circuit and is controlled by an infinite heat switch. When you turn the dial, the switch closes, letting 120 volts travel through both sides of the element. This provides the necessary 240 volts. One side of the switch will remain closed, which will power the cooktop indicator light. The other side of the switch will open and disconnect power once the element heats up. It will cycle on and off to maintain the set level of heat. If the contacts become warped or fused together, then the element will not cycle off and will stay on. This is difficult to test with a multimeter. Alternatively, if the element is shorted to ground, it'll complete the circuit through the metal frame, even when the element should be cycled off. Before replacing the heat switch, it's best to test for a shorted element. To begin, you might need a screwdriver, a nut driver, gloves, and a multimeter. If you need a new surface element or a switch, then you can enter your model number on the Amer Supply website. From there, you'll see a parts breakdown with the exact replacement parts listed for your model. Always be safe and disconnect the power at the breaker. Since there might be some sharp edges, it's best to wear cut-resistant gloves. Gently pull the range slightly away from the wall. As soon as there's enough room, go in behind and unplug it from the receptacle. Make sure that there isn't too much tension on the cord. Now, slide the range all the way out so you have plenty of room to work. On the back of the oven is a cover panel. Some models have a small panel near the top and a larger panel near the bottom. Now remove the screws. The panel will likely be sitting on several hooks. Simply lift up to remove the panel. To remember where each wire goes, it's best to take a picture for reference. Some models have individual wires, while other models group multiple wires with a hard plastic connector. On the switch, you should see a few terminals marked L for line, H for heater, and P for an indicator light. Remove the wires connected to the H1 and H2 terminals. Now set the multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. Touch one probe to the wire connected to H1 and the other probe to any shiny metal on the frame. There should be no resistance and no continuity. Now test from H2 to the frame. If either test has continuity, then the element is shorting and should be replaced. In conventional stoves, the element will simply lift out of the receptacle. In ceramic stoves, you'll have to lift up the cooktop. You can see how to do this in the video linked below. Now if the heating element is good, then replace the heat switch. If needed, 
disconnect the wires. Go to the front and pull the dial off the switch. Now remove the screws and slide the switch out of the mount. If the new switch has a longer stem than the old one, then use the pliers to snap off the top to the right length. Insert the new switch and line up the holes. Now replace the mounting screws. Align the flat side of the dial to the flat part of the stem and push it into place. Now reconnect the wires. Align the back panel and replace the screws. Now plug in the cord and push the range back into place. Next, reconnect the power. Now you can test your stove. For more troubleshooting videos on water heaters, furnaces, and appliances, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our Namely location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.